The graph of g of x equals e raised to the power of negative x plus three can be obtained from the graph of f of x by which actions? We first want to select whether we need to reflect f of x across the x-axis or the y-axis, and then whether we need to shift the resulting graph right, left, up, or down three units. Let's explore this. In red we have the graph of y equals e raised to the power of x, and now we will graph y equals e raised to the power of bx plus d, where when b is one and d is zero, we have the graph of the same exponential function, which we now see in blue. And now we'll change b to negative one, which would give us the graph of y equals e raised to the power of negative x. So notice how when b is negative one, the graph of the red function y equals e to the x is reflected across the vertical axis or y-axis to give us the graph of y equals e raised to the power of negative x. And this should make sense because in order for these functions to have the same function values or y values, the x values or inputs would have to be opposites. And now let's change d to three, which will shift the blue graph up three units because all the function values or y values are being increased by three. So the blue graph is a graph of y equals e raised to the power of negative x plus three, which again can be created by reflecting y equals e to the x graphed in red across the y-axis and then shifted up three units. So going back to our work, to graph g of x, we would need to reflect the graph of f of x across the y-axis and then shift the graph up three units. And now we're asked to find the domain and the range using interval notation. So let's go back and take a look at our graphs. Again, originally we had y equals e raised to the power of x, and then we recognized to graph y equals e raised to the power of negative x, we would have to reflect y equals e to the x across the y-axis, which gives us this graph. And then our final graph was y equals e raised to the power of negative x plus three, which is the graph of y equals e raised to the power of negative x shifted up three units. So we want to determine the domain and range of this function here. Well, notice how we have a horizontal asymptote of y equals three. And now the domain is a set of all possible inputs or x values. The domain or x can be any real number, and therefore the domain is all reals. We can also see this graphically because the graph moves right and left indefinitely without any holes or breaks. And therefore the domain is the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. And now the range is a set of all possible outputs or y values. Notice how the y values or function values approach three but never reach three, then they go up indefinitely and approach infinity. And therefore the range is y or f of x is greater than three, or using interval notation, we have the open interval from three to infinity. And again, we use a parenthesis here, not a bracket, because three is not included in the range. I hope you found this helpful.